What's up everyone, my name is Ben and welcome back to another episode of Top 5 Must Have Free Android Apps of 2014. This is a series where I cover the top 5 must have free Android apps every single week. And we'll jump straight into this video. So the first app or game writer that I'm going to show you guys today is called Farmwheel 2. Now please guys don't click off the video right away as I'm being serious. This new upgraded version of Farmwheel is actually playable. It automatically syncs with your Facebook account if you have one as Facebook isn't required to play this game which is really cool. This game also works with Google Play Games which is another awesome feature. Anyway, in this game you have different quests that you have to complete. For example, you have to buy different plants and animals. You also have to harvest the wheat every time it grows. It is just a basic farm world that we are all familiar with. However, I did really like that it doesn't have energy, so you don't have to buy the energy with real money. You also have unlimited water, which is really nice. And anyway, guys, if you're into these type of games, definitely go check it out. Up next, we have a pretty simple but nice app called Color. This app is pretty familiar to Stitch if you guys are familiar with that, but anyway, this app will allow you to drop, paint and more right on your phone. You are also able to add pictures to the app and draw on them, which is really nice. As you guys can see right here, you also have many colors to choose from. You can also change the brush size and check the pressure on or off. This app is nothing special, but it can be useful. Any that do is an app made by the same developer that has created a really nice calendar app called Cal, which I have reviewed in the past. Anyway, any that do isn't just another to-do list app. It has an excellent design, which I'm a big fan of. Plus, it's a great app overall. If you want to enter a text to your to-do list, simply hit the square and start typing. When you're finished, you can also mark it as important task. You can search the text on Google. You can also set a reminder and notes and more. Another really cool feature that I have discovered is that you can change the themes of this app. For example, you can choose between black and white, which I really liked. As you guys know, our body is made out of about 70% water, so it is really important to keep that percentage about the same all the time. And today I'm going to show you an app that will help you with keeping your body hydrated. This app is called Water Your Body and it's free like the, all the other apps. Anyway, when you first open it up, you'll have to select either pounds or kilograms, and ounces or milliliters. After you choose that, you'll have to enter your weight and the app will automatically calculate the water intake for you. After that, you'll have to select the amount of water you want to add with a tap and when you drink the amount of water, you simply click the plus button and that's pretty much it. This app will also send you notifications if you forget to input your water intake, which is really nice. And finally, the last app for today is called Pixlr Express. This is an awesome app to edit pictures on the go, which is what I usually do using my Nexus 5. Anyway, when you open up the app, you will be greeted with 4 different sections. Camera, which will take you straight to your camera app to snap a photo. Photos, which will take you to your library to choose a photo. Collage, which will allow you to make a single picture from multiple pictures. And finally, you have Fresh, which will show the last photo in your library. After you select a picture, you'll be greeted with a ton of options to edit your picture. You have adjustments, effects, overlay, borders, type, and stickers. Quite a few options are locked, however, as this app is free and you can unlock them with purchasing them. But still, considering that the app is free, it's a pretty amazing app. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did find some new Android apps for your device and if you did, then please consider hitting that like button as it really helps me out a lot. Also, please drop a comment with your thoughts and finally be sure to subscribe for more high quality Android content.